I'm such a very, very sad skeleton. <laughs> Hello, boys and girls. My name is Mike Kelly from uh, Mike at Kelly Town, K E L L E Y Town.com. If you want to email me. Anyway, um, somebody was having an issue or thinking about bringing over a skeleton into uh, iClone Character Creator 4. And they were saying, how do I make them talk and everything? Well, that's a good question. So let me show you the, <laughs> this is the really quick tour on this. As you see, I've got this skeleton talking and working with the, the um, motions, the regular motions from iClone. And it's pretty simple if uh, this part of the basics, the, the more you want it to be expressive, the harder it's going to be. But we'll, we'll give you the 20 cent tour. First of all, this is the Daz... Uh, I'm not sure which skeleton is this, Master Bone, I mean, oh, Midnight Bones, Midnight Bones skeleton that says it's Genesis 9. However, whenever it says those sort of things, it only means that it's rigged for Genesis 9. It doesn't mean that it will come in as a Genesis 9 figure in the Character Creator 4. So if we have Character Creator 4, which we have up here, and we're going to drag this uh, skeleton, which we've exported already. I've already done this, but I want to show you the process. So we drag the skeleton in to Character Creator 4. We choose character because that's what it is, and humanoid non-standard. So we say apply that. So what it's going to do now is it's going to look and see, oh, does this match any of these rigs that I know? These are all the rigs that happen to be built in to Character Creator 4, and it knows all these rigs. So would it con convert it? Sure. That's exactly what we want to do. So what this does is it simply takes the bones that are connected to the various parts of this rig and rigs it up. It doesn't do anything with the facial stuff. And remember, facial animation inside of uh, Character Creator or iClone is driven by morphs. And we're going to talk about that in a second, about morphs. In, uh, in the, but right now, so this is what we have. So right now, you can actually apply any motions that you want here. You can come in here and apply any content. We can go down to animations and apply any of these motions, and they will actually work just fine because this has the right rigging for all of these motions. So if we do this, for example, we can apply that. What it doesn't have is it doesn't have any facial animations at all. Uh, so there isn't any way to do all the stuff that we like to do in iClone with facial animations. So how do we get it to do what I just showed you how to, in talking? Well, the first thing you want to look at is you want to see what kind of morphs you have available out of Daz. And in this particular case, we have some morphs. Unfortunately, they're, they're not very useful. Uh, if we go into the head morphs, for example, we go to the mouth, we have the mouth open morph. Well, that's a useful one. We're going to want to have that morph. So we're going to go ahead and create this, export this as FBX, and we're going to bring it in to Character Creator and save it as an avatar. The reason we want to save it as an avatar, you will see later on when we do that. So that's one more. And that's about the most useful ones that are here. There are brow ones. You notice there's a brow down, but normally we need brow down left and brow down right. We, only, we have a brow down left and right, so that's fine. But we only have upright, so that's not going to help us. So we can export these morphs too. We could go ahead and export and You can see there's the brows, and we can go ahead and export them. But I, I didn't do that, and I, I'm not going to do that. But you can do it if you want. If there's any other morphs in here that you want, uh, that's fine. One thing we can do is put expressions here. So I have sad here on this, and I exported the sad morph. And, we, and once again, we're going to bring that into um, Character Creator and then save it as a sad uh, avatar. Why are we going to do that? Well, that's because when we go into uh, the... Uh, I'm sorry, when we go into iClone, we can use then the Morph Creator down here Bring up Morph Creator, and then with Morph Creator will then allow us to apply those morphs to the avatar. It'll set those up as morphs. Right now, we already have the sad morph applied, and you can see if I apply the, the sad morph, you can see his expression goes sad. So you do that by doing a plus sign and then load in, and you can load in either OBJs or avatars, but I can guarantee you right now, you're not going to have any luck loading OBJs because the, it's a long story. They just don't match up properly. So load them as the avatars. You can load in. So expressions we can load in, and then what we can do with those morphs is on the timeline, we can go ahead and animate, which is what I did here. I went into this place here, the start of this, brought up Morph Animator, and then I added the sad up at 76%. So you can, you can add that sad, and then that will animate. So you can come along on the timeline 
and animate his expression so you can go to here and have him be less sad or more sad, that sort of thing. And that'll keep that animation throughout that. So that's how you can animate those expressions. But what about the, the talking expressions, the one where he was talking and opening his mouth? Well, for that, we're going to have to go to Character Creator. And we're going to have to go to the Facial Profile Editor and Edit Expressions. And in this particular case, well, if the first thing we have to do is go down to the jaw, and we're going to have to edit the jaw open expression. So we'll go into the jaw open, and we'll add the avatar that has the mouth open. So we add that avatar in there, you, and, and that way we can say, okay, that's good. We can like that, and we, it's already updated. I've already done some of this, so we added the jaw open. So that, that'll be good. And then for the, the vice seams, we're going to go ahead and same thing for here. For the, for the V open, we're going to go ahead and add the same file, mouth open, Okay, and that uh, loads in there, and it's 100%. And the same thing for all these others. For, for V, whatever that is, Africate, I guess it's somewhat open. I'm going to load in that, that open uh, one again that we just did. But what I'm going to do for this one is I'm not going to put it at 100%. I'm going to lower it down to about that because he's not opening his mouth all the way. We're going to set that and update that. And then the same for the lips open. So that'll give us that. And then you might say, well, Mike, what about these other things? Well, there's no really blinking. He, you know, he, could, could, he could blink his eyes, I guess. I guess he could close his things. He can't really do much else because these really don't exist. These are bones and not the skin morphs that go on top of them. But if you really want to, you can go ahead and create these. And you can create them yourself by going in here and uh, edit, editing the mesh if you want to do that. And you can go in and select, let's say for the, for the right one, you can do this. And you can raise his up like that. And then you can go ahead and save this out as brow raise up. And then the same thing, you could, you could save it as an avatar. And then you could push it down, you can save him. So you could go ahead and do all that. I didn't do all that. I don't really care to do all that, but you can do that if you want. And in any case, once you're all done, you export that to iClone. And now in iClone, we can go ahead and use all those tools that we had to create something like this. I'm such a very, very sad skeleton. <laughs> okay, so hopefully this answers some questions about how to deal with things that aren't necessarily Genesis figures mapped onto CC3 plus uh, figures. Uh, and that's how you can get some animation out of things that, that don't have all the facial morphs that you need. And uh, I will see you around on the forums.